Tonight, U.S. officials fear what Vladimir Putin has yet to acknowledge, that a deadly explosion late last week in Russia was caused by a nuclear-powered missile. Today, Russian military officials called for the evacuation of the village of Nyanoksa, about 30 miles west of the coastal port area where Thursday's explosion occurred. They said it was because of military drills. But hours later, they called off the evacuation, even though independent groups have verified that some radioactive particles have very likely gotten into the air. I think, you know, a lot of other countries would have probably already evacuated the surrounding areas, but uh, I, I think the Kremlin's a bit in damage control at this point. Damage control, experts say, because they believe the explosion may have tipped off the U.S. and others to information that Putin may never have wanted to become public. The five elite nuclear specialists killed in the accident were from Sarov, one of Russia's secret cities. During the Cold War, it was known as Arzama 16. The Russians have at least 10 secret cities like it, experts say, and they're the rough equivalent of Los Alamos, New Mexico, the birthplace of the first American nuclear bombs. The 10 facilities are going to be focused on the width and breadth of the Russian nuclear arsenal. Uh, so some are going to have to do with developing uh, the delivery systems, missiles or, you know, gravity bombs. Some are going to be more focused on the actual weapons themselves and, you know, processing the plutonium. Analysts say these secret Russian cities are even more closed off than those notoriously secretive American facilities, like Los Alamos or Area 51, the classified aircraft and weapons compound in Nevada. Look, if you're a foreigner, you can't get anywhere near these cities. Sometimes they will grant foreigners access if you give up your passport, your phone, your camera. Uh, they'll let you in for a little bit, but that is very rare. Even for Russians, you have to go through a checkpoint to get in. There's sometimes electric fences around these cities. Experts say many of these cities are decrepit, decaying, and have experienced deadly accidents with nuclear material and even anthrax. But they're still important to Vladimir Putin, who's developing an ambitious new weapons program, which includes the missile that U.S. officials say just exploded, a cruise missile with essentially a nuclear reactor on board and which could have unlimited range. Experts say the deadly explosion is likely not on the scale of Chernobyl, the 1986 nuclear plant explosion which killed dozens initially and may have contaminated thousands more. Like this explosion, the Soviet Union at first refused to acknowledge the nuclear accident until the West detected high radiation levels over Europe. What the danger really is here is if the Russians continue to pursue these kinds of, of potentially dangerous and risky systems, 